How you doing? You already know what time it is. My favorite day of the week, baby. New Comic Wednesday. It's November 27th, 2019, and I'm about to tell you about all the hottest comics and very covers. You ready to do this, Yogi? Alright, let's do it. Woo! Got a pretty nice comic day for you. I stayed under my budget. I also got some bonus books from local comic shop day that I'm going to show you. Some really nice, hard to find stuff, some beautiful covers. So uh, without further ado, let's do it, Yogi. All right. So uh, this is from last week's comics. We got Vampirella number five, and I promised to show you that one in 15 art germ variant. And there it is. It's beautiful. I'll tell you what else is beautiful is that art by Ergen Gundus inside and that writing by Priest is excellent as well. I'm telling you, if you're not on this title, you're missing out. Great story, great art, beautiful covers. Get it. Also from Dynamite, we got Elvira number seven. This comic came out about a year ago, but for some reason, uh, Golden Apple just got around to sending it to me. But I don't really care about Elvira, and I just got it because of the Perillo cover. And honestly, it's not his best cover anyway, but I'd all but forgotten about this, but glad they sent it to me, albeit late. Big new title coming out today from Image, Philadelphia number one. Now we got Rodney Barnes doing a great job on the writing. I've already read this book and it's dope. Uh, we got Jason Sean Alexander from Spawn doing the uh, art inside, and we also got a Jason Sean Alexander cover as well. Now uh, this is a regular cover, but uh, local comic shop day, which was this Saturday, was offering these variant covers from Jason Sean Alexander as well. And also, if you're on the eBay, you can check out the 500 limited variant from Francisco Matina. Or if you don't want to do that, you can just wait till next week. Hopefully, mine will be here in the mail by then. It's coming from United Kingdom, so maybe not. Also from Image. Also a local comic shop day special variant. We got The Walking Dead, The Alien. That is uh, Brian K. Vaughn doing the writing on that and Marcos Martin doing the art. And that is a story about Rick's brother, Jeff. Jeff! 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 My brother Rick! Jeff's in a... I don't know, man. I don't know. It was a new character. Walking Dead's done, so... Bonus. Might be some spec long term, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get my hopes up too high. So uh also another book that came out recently was uh Spawn 302. That is a She Spawn cover, so I'll uh, grab that. That's the first uh, cover appearance of She Spawn. So that was the first time I've been able to grab that one. And I also picked up in Texas something is killing the children. That is number two. And it is a third printing. And that series is great, man. One of the hottest new books going. It is an independent book from Boom Studios. Low print runs. So I would grab those uh, those uh, second and third printings if you can get them. And just grab that title in general, man. It's dope. Uh, you know, looking at the art, it did not seem like something that I was going to love. But, whew, boy, was I wrong. That, that, that thing is good. So from Stonebot comics we got machine girl number one this is mainly a cover grab uh, very similar in style to art germ but that is actually augustine elicio doing the cover art on that uh the writing on this book is done by mats and uh, we got sergio mon mon he's i don't know how you pronounce that last name but uh art's okay story's okay you know for a little small indie book not bad you got a dope cover so i don't hate that buy but that was strictly a cover buy also from uh, Aftershock, we got Dark Red number eight. And I love this Megan hat trick. And look out, man, there's a little nip slip on the cover there. I don't know, what's up with that? We got Tim Seeley doing the writing on that and Corin Howell doing the art. I like this title, man, it's just a lot of fun. Really nice, another independent book, low buy-in. Big, uh, big uh, possibilities on the back side if this thing heats up. And uh, I don't know if you remember the, that Shannon Meyer Vir Virgin variant that I showed you for number one. That thing is beautiful. Another dope new title. This is from Vault. And uh, this is the number two issue of the plot. Now, this series is written by Tim Daniel and Michael Morici. Uh, Joshua Hickson is doing the art on this book. And it is dark in the art and the story. Really just a perfect match made in heaven. 
Uh, not necessarily the art I would choose on my own accord, but man, it really works with this title. So a uh, very, very dark, very cool story. Definitely one of the hotter new titles that I'm enjoying. So definitely one if I were you, I would grab it if you see it. So from DC Comics, we've got Action Comics 1017, written by Brian Michael Bendis. And unfortunately, we got a little break from uh, Simon Kudransky. I really like his art. I was loving that dark style, but now we got John Romita Jr. So, uh, you know, I'm not going to like it as well. But, I mean, I hate on Romita Jr. a lot, but, you know, he's not bad, but just I'm, I'm really partial to his dad's work. So I think a little bias comes in there. But, hey, we got a nice Perillo cover right there. And uh look like Superman got a, I don't know if that's a six pack, an eight pack, almost looks like a 10 pack. So he got some extra abs in there or something. It seems like he does. Detective 1016, written by Peter Tomasi, and we got Doug Mankey and Tyler Kirkman doing the art. So you don't see Kirkman doing the arts on the interiors very often. Normally, mainly a cover artist. So, whoo, slumming with this Kirkman, giving us some interiors. And we got us a Doug Mankey cover. And uh, if you're following that storyline, you know Mrs. Freeze has gone ham. Mr. Freeze can't get control of his old lady, so now he's enlisted Batman's help because his woman's gone ham. So we'll see what happens with that, but Detective's definitely one of the better of the Batman titles as Batman with Tom King is, I'm just dying for that thing to be over. Go ahead and, go ahead and wrap it up, Tom King, and go and get, go not get. This is a DC Black label, and I haven't been getting too much pub, but the uh, last issue I got was really good despite the convoluted title. Like, what is up with this? The Last God, Book One of the Felspire Chronicles, Chapter Two. What? Come on, bro. That's muddled. That's muddled. But anyway, I'll tell you what's not muddled is that uh, that art inside. Ricardo Federici is a master. Very, very similar to his side Ribich in his art style. So if you like Ribich, you'll like this. Speaking of Ribich, King Thor. Ooh, did you check that title out last week? Oh my God, that thing is ultra violent. The God Butcher is going ham. The Necro Sword. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, Rick, get on that title, bro. So uh, that is uh, the Last God. It's written by Philip Kennedy and uh, Philip Kennedy Johnson and uh, Federici's doing the art, and we got the Kai Carpenter cover, which I'm not a big fan of. I mean the. Cover art should be better than, than the interiors, I think, but that is not the case. Next up, we got Martian Manhunter. And if you haven't already jumped on this title, I rec recommend you get it and trade because it's probably going to be a better read that way. But this book is really nice. I love the story. I love the character development. Uh, the art is not what I would normally pick, but it really goes well with Steve Orlando's writing style. So I definitely recommend you check, check that out. And they've been giving us tons of these Joshua Middleton covers in this series, so definitely a nice bonus on that. It's a great read, so definitely recommend it. Strictly a cover by, this is Supergirl Annual Number 2, written by Robert Venditti. Laura Braga's doing the art, and uh, that Victor Bogdanovich cover is dope. That is the uh, Supergirl Who Laughs cover, and uh, I can definitely see that cover heating up. That's, that's a classic, classic in the making. So that's it from DC. Now we got some Marvel, and one of my favorite new X Men titles going is easily Fallen Angels. Because we got Brian Hill doing the writing. We got Simon Kudransky off of the Action Comics now on the Fallen Angel, and their loss is Fallen Angels Gain. And we got us the Ashley Witter cover as well. And I don't know what's taking my Shannon Meyer X23 variant so long to come in, but I can't wait to show you that one because it's a beauty. I love me that Shannon Meyer art, you know that. And I also got a, uh, I got another Fallen Angels X-23 variant from Shannon Meyer as well. So double dose of X-23 coming up, so get ready for that. We got Ghost Spider. That's uh, written by Shannon McGuire. I'm really liking his writing style. And uh, Takeshi Miyazawa, uh, it's decent. I mean, it, 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 it's good. Like, it's got its own stylistic quality to it. It's not as uh, clean as uh, the art that I normally seek out, but it really, uh, it's a good pairing. So, uh, we got Jorge Molina doing a really average job on the covers, man. I, I, I know what he's capable of, and he's capable of better than that, but oh well. Kind of a lot, a lot of uh, disappointing covers from, from really uh, accomplished artists this week. Uh, that Zafino 1 and 25 variant that I saw was just 
for Zafino, man. Oof, oof, man, not good. Anyway, I'll get to that, but we got, uh, this is last week's Absolute Carnage number five. I was not able to get the regular cover last time because the, uh, you know, diamond, they destroy everything. I bet, I bet, I bet diamond probably has to replace about a, a, a quarter of their, their orders every week. It's just ridiculous how much stuff gets damaged through them. So uh, another local comic shop day. This is Absolute Carnage number five. Uh, and if you don't know, I mean, you gotta know, this is written by Donny Cade. Stegman's doing the art. And this is the local comic shop day variant. There is also a virgin version of this selling for about a hundred bucks on eBay right now. I had a chance to buy it at 50, but see now there's nothing really uh, uh, pinpoint uh, spec on this book. I didn't really want to go in and buy that high dollar variant. Unless it's the first appearance or something like that, I really try to stay away from those high ratio variants or get them later on at a better price. But I got two of those, and these are selling for about 20 bucks on eBay, as are most of those local comic shop day variants. So uh, if you were able to pick those up, big ups. Big ups to you for uh, celebrating your local comic shop. So we got Scream Curse of Carnage. That's written by Clay McLeod uh, Chapman. And we also got uh, Chris Mooneyham doing the art inside, but I strictly got that from the Art Germ cover. And that is the first ongoing series of Scream. Not necessarily my favorite uh, symbiote, but I'm willing to give it a try and, uh, you know, got that Art Germ cover to get me in, get me in the door. So we'll see what happens. Uh, Venom, number 20. Written by Cates, we got Ivan Coelho doing a great job on the art. It is hard to back up Stegman. And uh, Ivan Coelho, you almost wouldn't know that you were switching artists. So great job on that. And we also got a Kyle Hotz cover. And uh, there's a few variants I picked up on this. So I didn't buy any major high ratio variants today at the comic store. So I really stocked up on this uh, Venom. We got the uh, Codex variant. And that is, uh, that's by Bodenheim. And then we got the Koi Fam. $20.99 and uh, there was $20.99 titles come out today that uh, I didn't pick up but I didn't like it back in the 80s and I don't like it now. There was a Conan the Barbarian as well as a Punisher $20.99. I looked through them and didn't see anything that was uh, really worth speculating on and the art was not that great inside either and uh, couple all that with the fact that I didn't care for them in the first go around, I passed. So, uh, but. This uh, Venom 2099 variant, only 2099 variant I think that I've gotten so far, but that one's dope. I had to make an exception. X Force number two. I've read this title, and this is this and Fallen Angels are both the, the best best uh, new X Men titles out right now since the House and Powers of X. But Benjamin Percy's doing the writing on this, and Joshua Casara's doing the art. Really gritty art style. Uh, we got a Dustin Weaver cover. I told you about that Zafino 1 at 25. It was a real disappointment. Uh, very, very awkward looking cover. Very look, look like some really shoddy Simon Bisley work. I mean, I, I know Zafino is capable of some seriously dope covers. That 1 in 25 King Thor I told you, uh, showed you a little while back was super dope. And uh, speaking of super dope, man, Ji Hyung Lee is awesome. And I just could not pass up this Psylocke. X-Men number two. That's written by Jonathan Hickman and Lionel used doing the interior arts, but who's, who cares? We got this Ji Hyung Lee cover. Woo, mama see that. And as good as it might look on camera, it looks twice as good in person, man. This is one of these, you gotta see to believe, and there's the virgin copy for you. Boom, boom, loving it. So uh, a few other things. We had Avengers had a new star brand and also the first brood Thor. Avengers, Avengers is really jumping the shark lately, so I'm out for the uh, reasonable future. I told you about Conan and Punisher 2099 being out today. I didn't like the looks of either one of those. Uh, Basketful of Heads had a Clayton Crane variant. Uh, that title is done by uh, the son of Stephen King, Joe Hill, and uh, but I do not like the looks of the art inside, uh, so I even passed up that Clayton Crane variant, which is highly unlike me. Uh, New Mutants is another X-Men title. Number two was out today, and it was like it turned into Space Lawyer or something. So uh, I passed on that. But uh, hey, thanks for joining me every week. Be sure to look down, hit the like button, please subscribe so you'll get notified as soon as I post these videos up. And uh, man, thanks for joining me. Have a happy, happy holiday. And uh, before I forget, you may see this hat here. This is uh, American Jedi Trading Company, and uh, this. Uh, particular company hasn't uh
fully gone operational yet. Their uh, product should be available to consumers uh, around January. So if you want to go on Facebook and go to American Jedi Trading Company, uh, go ahead and sign up there or follow that and that way you'll get notified whenever new product comes out. Really love this new line so check it out. It's a good, good friend of mine so uh, you'll be uh, doing well to support him. And uh, hey, that's all I got. We'll see you next time.